And so my book, Life Through a Lens, talks about this. It talks about what happened, but more importantly, it talks about how I got through it and the tools that I used, which I'm going to share with you in just a minute in those four steps back to your authentic self. So hang around for those. But in my book, I talk you how, about how to get through. I tell you, I show you that there's hope. So my book just isn't about the rainforest, right? That's just something that I'm doing it in partnership with because that means something to me. That's part of my soul goal is to impact, right? The book is about hope. The book is about becoming a recovered survivor. Everybody shouts about, woohoo, we're surviving. We shouldn't be surviving, we should be thriving. And there's a way that we can do that and there's tools that we can use and the book share, shares those. So if you've seen my book on my page, I want you to take a closer look at the opportunity to pledge for it as a pre-order and get it in your hands. Be first to get it in your hands because it is, it is going to help people whether you've been in an abusive relationship, whether you're stuck in a job that you hate, whether you've lost like, you know, touch with what it is you actually want to be and who you are because I understand, right? And what I'm doing now is I'm thriving. I am a recovered survivor, hashtag recovered survivor, and I'm thriving. And so how do you get back to that? There's four steps, okay? So the first step is to really identify what makes you unique. What are all those qualities about yourself that you've let die away, perhaps because you didn't want to stand out, or perhaps because somebody made you feel shame for feeling and being that way, or somebody made you feel guilty for being and feeling that way. What are those things that make you unique, that are yours, they're your qualities, nobody else's, and they were born out of your story, because your story goes way back before you got stuck. It goes back to your childhood and those inherent things, you know, those quirky personality things that are, like I say, we, d we die them down. And so remember those, spend some time, write them down, find five things that make you unique. Number two, who are you under the fear? And I said to you, right, I came home from that experience and I feared everything. And so I adapted who I was to survive that fear. One of the things, one of, like a big part of that was becoming agoraphobic almost. I, I didn't want to leave the house. And that didn't just end like then. That carried through until quite recently. Finding new ways to hide, being in the gym, that's, that, that's all that was. Like if I'm in the gym and I'm doing all that training, then I'm not out in the world and I'm not being around people because of all those, those, that, those triggers of those, those unresolved feelings. And a big one for me is shame shame. I feel shame and I'm still resolving that. But who are you underneath that fear? And that's a fucking huge question, right? It's a big question. So the book's going to help you, thanks Roderick, to identify that, to identify who you are, remember who you are and to love that person again. Okay, number three is who do you want to become more of? It's that vision. It's about really seeing who you want to become more of. When you've got that grasp of who you truly are, then you start looking forward and you see her. You see who she's around. You see who, what she's doing, how she's spending her time. And you create that vision of your life and that person that you want to become more of. Number four, how do you let that story go? Because even though you've set that vision and you can see it and perhaps you can even feel yourself there, that those stories keep replaying and it won't just be one story. And that's what's happened this year is that, you know, I've identified that there's another story that really holds me back that goes way before my experience with the rape. It goes back to my childhood and it goes back to being a child growing up with a mum with bipolar and walking on eggshells all the time, not, not knowing what reaction I was going to get and feeling, again, shame, shame for being me because me would cause her to yell, cause her to lash out, cause her to, you know, like never really knowing, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm connecting with all of this and when we connect it, with it, we can let it go, but when we're avoiding it, it stays there and it keeps playing out. And that's why we overthink. That's why we question ourselves. It's why we second guess ourselves because our brain keeps us safe from those experiences that we've had so that they never happen again. So that we don't put ourselves out there and get hurt again. 
So how do you let that story go and move forward? And that is where you use the tools. And I give you these tools in my book. So in Life Through a Lens, you get these tools. You see how these tools work via my story and how they've helped me move forward. And the first tool is perspective. And that's what the book's about. When we look back on our experiences through different perspectives, we can see and we can create new outcomes. We can be that person we want to become more of because we're free of that story that often is not even true, right? It's something that we've replayed so many times over in our minds the way we saw it, the way we saw it at the time, and it's not even that way when we look at it from a new perspective and we identify what the truth is. And a belief is only something that we've told ourselves enough times that we believe it, right? So we can then set a new belief and we can move forward. So perspective is the first tool. It's huge. It's the theme of the book. And the second one is gratitude. I talk about that a lot, but I I really put that into play in the book and you can understand how you can use it day to day to just live better, feel better and attract more abundance into your life. Number three is focus. I see a lot of people focusing on their story and all the reasons why they can't, why they can't afford it, why they're not good enough at it, why their circumstances aren't, aren't going to allow it. But my book, Life Through a Lens, will help you to shift that focus onto the real place where it should be so that you can attract. We, we, what we focus on expands. So if you think you can't ex- afford it, if you talk about why you can't afford it, you can't afford it. If you think about why you're not good enough, if you focus on why you can't, you won't, right? So we, I teach you about that, um, that tool of focus through my story. Life Through a Lens, I didn't want to write it as a self-help book. I didn't want to say, this is what you do, go off and do it. I wanted to show you through my story how these things work so that you can apply them. And the fourth tool is soul goal. So Life Through a Lens talks through how I found my soul goal. And that is why the book is being published in partnership with the NGO in Brazil, right? I want to make a fucking impact. I really want to make an impact and I don't just want to make my impact, I want to help you make your impact. I want to create a movement. I've called this movement the Hummingbird Movement because it is about strong, passionate females connecting with their soul goal and living out their impact, their soul goal, and helping people to do that. I feel like I cross paths with coaching for a bigger purpose because that is where I can help people. I can get help them get over those stories. I can help them to understand who they are underneath their fears. And when they do that, and this is this is what is already happening, right, with my clients is they're finding the thing that they really want to do, that they never thought that they were big enough to do before. They felt too small. They felt too insignificant. They felt Felt fucking guilty, shame, unworthy, all of these words that hold us back from what we really want to do with our world, with our life. So that is the tools, the four tools within life through a lens, focus, gratitude, um, soul goal and perspective. And you can make a pledge right now, $30, that's New Zealand, so $20 US, you can get the book. And at the same time, you're going to be contributing to the the Atlantic Rainforest. So if you're interested in that information, reach out to me and I'll send you the link to the Pledge Me page. And if you want more tools like this, reach out to me as well because I have a whole course of them and it's free, right? It's free and it's going to help you identify what makes you unique. It's going to help you identify who you are under the fear. It's going to help you really see and feel who you want to become more of and it's going to let help you let that story go and move forward. So if you want access to that course, reach out to me. I will send you the link. I hope you have a great Wednesday. I love you loads and goodbye.